Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, June the 5th, 2015. French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabiou responded to the controversy over the announcement from French telecom giant Orange yesterday that they plan to cut ties with Israeli company Partner. Fabiou saying in response today that France opposes any boycott of Israel. As we reported to you, Orange said that their plan to end the license deal with Partner was not politically motivated. Their announcement followed remarks made a day earlier by the CEO of Orange, Stefan Richard, seeming to suggest a boycott of Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday urged France to publicly condemn Orange's statements and actions, which he called despicable. Today, Fabiou affirmed that France is opposed to any boycott of Israel and that it was up to the president of Orange to make decisions for his business. Yediot Haronot spoke to Orange CEO Richard today, who claimed his decision was purely business and had nothing to do with the BDS boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, which seeks to delegitimize Israel. Richard said he was not aware of any international campaign referring to BDS and said, we love Israel, we are a friend of Israel. Meanwhile, Jewish organizations here in the U.S. had also criticized the decision from Orange this week to end ties with the Israeli company. The Anti-Defamation League National Director Abe Foxman said Orange took a cowardly decision to cave into demands by the international campaign to boycott Israel, noting that the telecom giant has subsidiaries which operate in disputed territories elsewhere in the world and said the decision was about Israel and the campaign to delegitimize the Jewish state. B'nai B'rith International slammed the comments made earlier this week by Orange CEO Richard, calling them deplorable, that they suggest giving in to the BDS campaign. South Carolina has become the first state in the U.S. to take action against BDS. It signed into law a bill yesterday which prevents public entities from contracting with businesses engaging in the, quote, boycott of a person or an entity based in or doing business with a jurisdiction with whom South Carolina can enjoy open trade. Several other states have passed similar legislation, like Illinois just last month, but South Carolina is the first to do so on a statewide level. While the bill does not mention Israel by name, South Carolina Representative Alan Clements, who spearheaded the bill, said that, quote, discriminatory boycotts have historically been used as a form of economic warfare to forward the purposes of hatred and bigotry, noting the Nazi regime. Clements said, in this day and age, no group better demonstrates this fact than the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement in its efforts to harm our great ally, Israel. Former Secretary General of the World Jewish Congress, Avi Becker, has died after battling cancer. Becker served as a member of the Permanent Mission of Israel to the United Nations, Executive Director of the WJC Israel Office, and helped establish the Israel Council on Foreign Relations. He later headed the Jewish Public Policy Project and the UN Israel Institute at Tel Aviv University, and was the Goldman Visiting Professor at the Department of Government at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. WJC President Ronald Lauder praised Becker as being instrumental in implementing efforts for Holocaust restitution and for promoting dialogue between the U.S. and Israel. Becker is survived by his wife and children. He was 64. The Simon Wiesenthal Center congratulated former British Prime Minister Tony Blair on his new position as chairman of the European Council on Tolerance and Reconciliation. Founder and Dean of the SWC, Rabbi Marvin Heyer, called Blair's appointment a positive development. He said Mr. Blair has been a staunch supporter of the State of Israel, and at this time when anti-Semitism is rampant around the world, he is the right man at the right time to assume this position. U.S. President Barack Obama announced his intent to appoint Rabbi Abba Cohen for member of the Commission for the Preservation of America's Heritage Abroad. Cohen currently serves as the Washington Director and Counsel for Agudath Israel of America. Previously, he served as the Assistant Director in the Middle East Affairs Department and as an Associate in the Latin American Affairs Department at the ADL. 
The commission identifies and reports on monuments, cemeteries, and historic buildings in Eastern and Central Europe that are associated with the heritage of U.S. citizens and takes care of making sure that they are protected and preserved. And turning now to our programming for tonight, Friday, June the 5th, coming up at 6 o'clock, live Shabbat services from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed at 7.30 by Director of Research of the Washington Institute of Near East Policy, Patrick Clausen, as he looks at the disagreements between the U.S. and Israel on Iran. That's from the AJC of Westchester. Then at 8 tonight, Neil Gaiman talks about his pioneering comic book series, The Sandman. That's from the 92nd Street Y in New York City. And at 9, the film Iranium. At 10, best-selling author Danny Shapiro talks about her son's questions about God and how they led to her own spiritual journey and her feelings about her Jewish tradition. That's tonight on JBS and JBSTV.org. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, June the 5th, 2015. I'm Tisha Bader. Shabbat Shalom.